All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video with training camp coming up in July. Niners, of course, in the post-draft period, and then we'll have a rookie minicamp later on this week in Santa Clara. Now, what is going on exactly with Trey Lance? There were so many indications that seemed to tell me that he was going to be traded on draft day, but then draft day came and draft day went, and he wasn't dealt. And, you know, it's it's interesting because Ian Rappaport, the NFL Network Insider, more than a month ago, was reporting that Sam Darnold more than likely, more likely than not, will start week one over Trey Lance if Brock Purdy's still recovering from the elbow surgery. And apparently um, the 49ers called Ian Rappaport recently and pushed back on that report, on his reporting, and questioned why uh, he thinks they're down on Trey Lance. And this is what Rappaport said uh, earlier this week on the Pat McAfee show. Now, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I'll clearly admit, I don't know what's going on here, but it seems very bizarre. It really does. I mean, why would the 49er, why would Rappaport think the 49ers are down on Lance? I don't know. <laughs> There's all because it sounded like they were open to shopping him because they've been talking up Sam Darnold most of the off season, because it seems like, uh, you know, Matt Mayoko, who's as connected to anybody, is saying that Sam Darnold is, you know, maybe the greatest thrower in 49er history, that Kyle Shanahan's describing Sam Darnold as having the greatest skill set he's ever seen on a quarterback. All really positive things. I mean, there's several indications to me that the 49ers love Sam Darnold, and they've, of course, anointed already announced in a couple of spots that Brock Purdy is going to be the number one quarterback if and when he's healthy. So what is the plan with Trey Lance? Well, if you look at the betting odds, and I always look try to look at the betting odds, take a look exactly what we're talking about. As of today, if you go to Fox Bet, the 49ers, the odds are out on Trey Lance's odds for whatever team he's going to play for in 2023. And the 49ers, the, you know, will Trey play for the Niners is minus 300. And will Trey play for anybody but the 49ers is plus 240. So, in other words, if you bet $10 on Trey being uh, the 49ers quarterback this year, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean he has to start. He could be on the roster. You bet $10, you're going to win, you know, $13.33. You're not going to win a lot because that's favored. But if you bet, that Trey's going to be a Ram or Seahawk or anybody but the Niner, but a 49er, you bet $10, you're going to win $94. So it's quite a bit, it's quite a difference there. Uh, or I should say $34, $34. So you bet 10, you win 34, or you can bet 10 and you win $13.33. So in other words, the 49ers are the overwhelming favorite. Uh, the odds seem to indicate that Trey Lance is going to be a 49er um, now, but what is the plan? I mean, if, if is it, is he going to get an opportunity to, to start? Is it all based on how he plays? And if he plays well, do they not go to Brock Purdy? Um, there's a lot of unknown with Brock Purdy, but assuming Brock Purdy's healthy, let's say after the first month, what if Trey's playing great? Do they stay with Trey? So it's going to be interesting. He, you know, of course, Trey's got minimal NFL experience after two seasons. He suffered the season ending broken ankle September 18th. That required two surgeries. So in eight games, four starts, Lance has got a 54.9% completion percentage, 797 passing yards, five touchdown passes, three interceptions, and an 84.5 quarterback rating. So we're going to find out. I mean, um, Ian Rappaport was very specific in his reporting that he feels like Lance is going to be dealt in August, but then he said he got pushback. Is he getting pushback from Lynch? Is he getting pushback from people in the room in the PR side of things? We really don't know. Is, um, is Sam Darnold and Trey Lance going to battle for that number two job? Well, that's what it looks like. And if you told, if you ask me, I, that means Trey Lance is going to be the week one starter because I don't think there's any way that Sam Darnold could beat out Trey Lance. But man, when you hear people talking up Sam Darnold, it does make you wonder if a, we either have a much more inflated opinion of Trey Lance's talent than they do, or than some do, or if Sam Darnold is worlds better than we're, than we're banking on. And he's not the player 
that we saw with the Jets, and he's not the player that we saw mo- much of his career, that he's actually this new improved player that had a nice little six-game run where he went four and two at the end of last year as the starter in Carolina. So it sounds like Trey Lance is not going to be traded that Sam Darnold and Trey Lance are going to battle it out in training camp. I expect Trey, as I said, to win that battle. And then it's a matter of how well can Trey play before people would say, you know what, Brock who, you know, we're not going back to Brock Purdy. And what would the key thing be there? Would it be victories? Would it be points? If the Niners are four and oh, do they go to Brock Purdy in week five? Um, or does it matter about how many points you score? Do you need to be scoring 35 a game? And then you say, you know what? Uh, we're going pretty good. Let's just stay with Trey. So it's to me, it's going to be a very, very interesting summer because all the rumors of Trey Lance being traded never came to fruition. And now Trey's there this summer, and it should be really juicy day-to-day watching him and Sam Darnold fight it out. And are they fight, fighting it out for the starting job? Well, they kind of are because we don't know about the future of of Brock Purdy or how well he's going to come back from this injury or when he'll come back from the injury. And then you say, well, what's the alternative? If they didn't, if, if, you know, if they don't uh, have Trey on the roster, who even needs Trey Lance at this point? The Texans don't. Um, They've got CJ Stroud. Carolina doesn't. They got Bryce Young. Uh, You really know who needs, who needs them. I mean, at this point, Tennessee doesn't. They got Will Levis. So just looking around the NFL landscape, the only two teams that could even make sense at all would be Washington who have Sam Howell and they've kind of, you know, asserted that they like Sam Howell and they want to go with Sam Howell. So we'll see if Ron Rivera is bluffing or if he really likes Sam Howell and the Minnesota Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings are that one wild card team that we don't really know what they think. Why? Because Trey's from Marshall, Minnesota. They know this kid well. And the Vikings and 49ers, according to reports, have already discussed a Lance trade. And it makes sense on a couple fronts. I mean, um, it makes sense for the Vikings' perspective. They've got Kirk Cousins. He's, you know, a top top half of the NFL-type starter. But Kirk Cousins has never gotten it done in the postseason, and he's 34. He's 1-3. and three, And he's in the final year of his contract. It's going to pay him $35 million dollars in uh, total compensation in 2023, Kevin O'Connell runs a very similar offense to the Niners. He coached with Shanahan in Washington. Lance, as I said, is a Marshall, Minnesota native. It would be a homecoming. It would be a very popular move for the Vikings to trade for Trey Lance. Their general manager, uh, Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, spent seven seasons here with the 49ers in their personnel department, has a outstanding relationship with the Niners and that familiarity obviously would help probably in any kind of trade negotiations, um, you know, with his former team. So, I mean, there's no doubt that Trey Lance would give the Vikings a very young, talented, you know, homegrown uh, quarterback who could, you know, be their quarterback in the future. But then there's a lot of people that would say that, you know what, let him fulfill that potential here. Don't trade him, keep him, and let him compete for the starting job. So it's, it's going to be riveting this summer, guys, to just see exactly what Kyle and John want at the quarterback. Do they want to clear the, clear the run, clear the decks for Brock Purdy and commit to Brock and not have a, a competition um, and, and, and try to move Trey to another spot? Or do they want Darnold and Trey and Brock in this three ring circus competition for the starting job and having people saying, I want Sam, I want Brock, I want Trey. And, and that might be the best move, or it could be a divisive move that splits the locker room and splits the fan base. It's going to be a very interesting summer. The odds say Trey Lance is going to be a niner. Um. Ian, you know, Ian Rappaport seems to suggest that even though he's gotten pushback, he didn't necessarily take back his report that that Trey was going to be dealt. So bring on the summer, bring on the competition. It should be good. Um, You know, Brock's trying to get healthy. Darnold's trying to save his career. 
Uh, Lance is trying to establish himself, and the Niners are just looking for a good quarterback that can lead them to the Super Bowl. Uh, they're, they're, they're sixth in uh, in 49er history if they can get it done. All right. Hope you enjoyed the 49er video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being a proud sponsor. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madero. They're open seven days a week in Marin County, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. They're open in the Emeryville Public Marketplace Wednesday through Sunday. And once again, thanks to all of you for supporting the crew show on YouTube.